Hey gang, Duvall here with an all new review for ToyWorldOrder.com. Now the Transformer brand of Creo building sets and figures from Hasbro started out kind of rough with fans not really buying into the building sets, but they loved the minifigures that were included with many of the sets. Well now Hasbro has listened to the fans and the Creo line for Transformers has become more centered on minifigures rather than large scale Transformer sets. And with that, we get a series of awesome Microchanger combiner sets. And today I give you a look at none other than Bruticus. Now the box for these combiner sets are all very well done. Now the front shows off not only the four separate figures included within in both their alt modes and their robot modes, but also the combined figure Bruticus. Now the back shows the figures and Bruticus again, as well as the three other sets you can purchase, which include Superion, Predaking, and Devastator. Opening the box up, you'll find a large and detailed instruction manual, a small sheet of stickers, and five bags which contain the pieces for the four figures as well as some of the pieces needed to form Bruticus. Let's take a look at these four Creon figures, starting with Decepticon Brawl. Now, the figure pieces together much like the other Micro Changer figures we've looked at in the past. In robot mode, these figures really look good. Changing to tank mode, we run into our first use of the sticker sheet. One of the pieces that makes up Brawl's cockpit gets a Decepticon logo placed onto it. Brawl's giant cannon here is a nice touch, which makes his tank mode that much more impressive. And for some reason, while some of these vehicle modes work and some don't, the tank modes seem to look so much better than most. Now the other figures here are Combaticon Leader Onslaught, whose robot mode is well done, while the vehicle mode is the second figure here to get some stickers in the form of the Decepticon logo on his hood and the windows. Vortex, who goes from robot to helicopter, and Swindle, who goes from warrior to car, and is the final figure here to get a sticker, namely a Decepticon logo. Now these four figures are really well done and are good representations of the classic vintage series, and the only character missing is Blastoff, who you can actually find in the blind bag assortment that's currently available. Okay, let's take a look at the forming of Bruticus. Now the large combined form uses bits and pieces of each of the four characters, as well as pieces that are only used in the forming of the giant. A swindle and brawl form the feet, while the body here is formed by Vortex and Onslaught, who is sans his arms here, which we'll get to. Now the arms here are made up of Onslaught and Vortex's legs and some bricks that allow the arms to bend at the elbows. Now once all the pieces are attached, you use Brawl's cannon and Onslaught's gun to form Bruticus's weapons. Now the way Hasbro's designed these combiner figures, there is really some great articulation thanks to the way the combiner uses the legs of Swindle and Brawl to allow the feet to move. The connection points at the knee, the ball jointed hips, connection at the elbows, and ball joints that form the shoulders. Now thanks to this unique design and build, you can really get these combiners into some awesome poses. Now the set also comes with a red brick with the Creo logo on the front. It can kind of act as a display stand for the completed combiner, and in the end it's a nice addition. My only complaint here is that the combiner figures are built to use only the four figures included, which is kind of sad because here in the case of Bruticus, the fifth figures of each of these teams are actually available in the current 12 figure collection of blind bag micro changers. And as you can see here, Blastoff is super sad that he can't play in any combiner games. I'm sure that some Transformer fans out there have discovered a way to use Blastoff in the forming of Bruticus, but I wanted to only show you the building of the character with the included parts. Now, these combiner sets are, again, really well done. And while some fans may find the combined form of Bruticus silly and ultimately incomplete with the exclusion of Blastoff, others will find these a perfect addition to their growing collection of microchangers. So I say rush out and find these today if you're a fan of these new block style interpretations of classic Transformer characters from throughout the history of this line. And until next time gang, keep playing with your toys.